Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful morning here in Florida. I've had an idea that I've been wanting to do for a while with this thing. So one of the big considerations when people are trying to decide on a dinghy, and especially if they're on the border of a hard dinghy versus a soft dinghy, is the rowing performance of it. Now these things always come with oars and little oar locks, and you can row them, usually in like a, well, not emergency, but get home scenario if your motor breaks. But it's been said that they row really, really poorly, especially in the wind. So we want to test it out, and we also want to compare it to rowing on a hard dinghy. And we actually have, we don't have a hard dinghy, but we have some neighbors right in front of us who have one. So we're going to see if they want to uh, test with us, or you guys might know them, actually. Let's go. Hey, good morning. Hey, you're not supposed to be filming yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, are you ready to compare dinghies? So this is Tambi and Molly. Hi. <laughs> and that's Ben over there. And they're on Sand Fleet, and they also have a YouTube channel. What's it called? Sailboat yeah. Story. Sailboat Story. They're going to help us kind of compare rowing this dinghy, big old inflatable, versus their sweet little homemade rowing sailing dinghy. Was it a chame chameleon, right? Chameleon. We had the bench over here in the front and then we moved it to the back and we like it a lot better back there But we got to move it back up forward. So we're gonna be able to row row this thing All right That looks very risky <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what I expect is for this rib boat to, it's gonna row, but it's gonna kinda wander around a lot, and it's not gonna really hold a very true course with each stroke, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's gonna kinda wander, and it's probably gonna take a lot of work, especially with these uh, really inadequate oars. <laughs> They're like four feet long. <laughs> and, and just for comparison, you know, mine are, I think, seven and a half. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, I guess the thing to point out is your boat has 20 more horsepower than mine does. I don't think I've ever rode an inflatable before. And they definitely have a reputation for not rowing at all. Like, yep. I think it's going to row a little bit better than the reputation says, but I don't think it's going to be anything compared to rowing a hard dinghy. Now, we're going to also track its speed using the iPad, yeah. right? So we'll get to actually see with the top speed yeah. of the rib boat under oar power. And compare it to our, our effort. Right. And we're going to take turns. I think me and Ben will switch on and off rowing it, and then maybe Tammy, Tambi if she wants, and maybe Molly if she wants. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Ready, let's see All right. how it goes. Alright, so you're gonna hold this. Have you used one of these before? And then you can just tell us what our speed is and everything. How's that sound? Alright. You wanna row first or second? Let me row first. Alright. <laughs> it's not working? Oh. Later. Alright, cool. Should be back in business. One knot. I tell you, the stroke is like way different with these oars. Get them in the water, you have to like basically have them at a 45 degree angle. Exactly, they're almost vertical. We're gonna line up alongside this beach and then I'm gonna let it rip. Okay. Alright, here we go. This is a, oh, two knots. Let's see if we can get to three. Ha, whoo. Ha, whoo. Are we still going two? One. One? <laughs> You're going slower. <laughs> uh oh. Two. Okay. Oh, 2.0? So two even? I'm going to give it one more run. Yeah. This is scary because that was with the wind. I know. Uh oh. I wonder if we have any current over here. What's your perceived effort? I would say uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'm just about at a. Probably a nine. Really? Oh yeah, I think I could, I could possibly crank it up to ten if it was like a, you know, an emergency situation. But I'm so close to having a stroke at the moment that I don't want to take it all the way to the limit. Where are we at, Molly? Two. Two? 
Is he holding steady at two? All right. All right. We're definitely moving. Dude, I I'll tell you one thing for, for sure is uh, it's going a lot straighter than I thought it was going to. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that too. I wonder, because I would say that this, especially in the bow, has a m way more of a V than a lot of other inflatables. So I wonder if that's part of it, helping it track. I'm curious, how much does that engine weigh? This has got to be like, probably about 100 pounds. Okay. Yeah. And how much does this dinghy weigh? I, I w stripped, I think 150. Yeah. Two, 250 plus 160, so 410 plus like, what do you weigh? She's probably 40, and what do you weigh? 170. 620? 620, so we're moving like 620 pounds. Plus the fuel and anchor, so. <laughs> fuel and anchor, 630. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll call it. That's a lot of weight, that adds off for sure. All right, all right. All right man. My turn? Uh, give it a rip, see if you can break uh, two knots without breaking your oars. <laughs> yeah, I think that is probably the weak link in in this system is the oars, or the oar locks maybe, although, I don't know. Yeah, well it's, I think it's good to be putting this whole little, uh, your little ship through a torture test Definitely. before you guys head out. Definitely. How's this position? How'd that feel to you? It, it was uh, really unpleasant. Definitely the anchor, right? <laughs> but the seating, a, you, the seating oh, is pretty good. The, the seating is actually, it's, it's really not bad. It's awkward to me because your hands, like on my oars, your hands are like inches apart right like there. This. Yeah. yeah. And on yours, they're fixed where mine actually, they're sitting in those oar locks. Right. They can slide in and out the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Molly, we're trying to break two knots, okay? Let me get warmed up a little bit here. Warmed up? You're not already warmed up from your morning exercise like you guys are already doing? This Sunday, I slept in today. <laughs> yeah. You haven't lifted that bag of sand this morning? Give us a couple degrees to uh, starboard or we're gonna run into a bush. What'd you say, Molly? 2.3? Oh, come on. So 2.3, Molly, huh? Oh, to down to 2.1? What was the highest? 2.3? Okay, max speed thus far is 2.3. All right. And I am sure as heck not going to beat that. <laughs> I'm trying to put in your, I'm trying to match your nine, your 90% effort. All right, there we go. Definitely takes a little bit to get it going. I'd be able to match his pace if I had one of those sandbags I could work out with. <laughs> How fast we go, Molly? Uh-oh, you have to crank it up, take it to 10. <laughs> oh, there's a 2.3. Oh, wow. I think the wind lightened up for me. Totally doable though. But it'd be real interesting, like when we had 30 knots from the west the other day, for How sure. Would it be ro rolling into that, you know? Absolutely. And that's exactly what you will be in when your motor dies. Yeah, exactly. A, like three foot chop. There's Tambi over there filming from shore. It definitely wasn't pleasant or smooth or like, I don't know. I'd say it was about what my expectations were for rowing. Yeah. I think it's a good usable speed, you know, if you got to row. It would be way better, I think, without that 100 pounds hanging off the stern. <laughs> but uh, that was a lot of work, man. Yeah. What was your top speed? 2.3. 2 In our other dinghy, we put wooden oars that were a little bit longer. I wonder if that would make a big difference to ours. I, I think it would. Is that in a waterproof case? Yeah. Yeah. Haven't tested it. Waterproof-ish case? <laughs> Waterproof-ish. Yeah, okay. Let's not test it today. That'll be another day. Yeah, all right. That's so cool. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, you got it? All right. Yeah, go ahead and hop in. I'll push this up. Oh, this is gonna be just embarrassing. Okay, now here's the thing. Have you ever rode with these kind of oars? Yeah. The main thing, yeah, you probably already know this, is keep, you don't row on the buttons like this. You don't row on these. Uh-huh. Because it'll rip those leather bits off. The only purpose of those is to hold the oar like when your hands aren't on it. Right, You right. want to row like in the middle of it like uh, this. Okay. Okay, so this is the upwind leg. 
Yeah. All right, Molly, you got our. Uh, yep. How fast are we going? Zero. We oh. are not going zero. Already? He's only at like a four. The leverage is just unbelievable. Can you, can you feel it? Yeah, it's like one stroke for every three strokes oh, on that. Three. Yeah, and it really kind of carries this momentum. Like, you know, you give it a stroke, and, and they, then you're just kind of cruising. For you a are, absolutely. Slices through the water. I've had to be more mindful of that actually coming up to the boat in this because. Uh, Come up hot, huh? Yeah. All right, Molly, this is the downwind stretch. This is where the real speed comes out. <laughs> yeah. What was our top speed there, Molly? Three. Three, oh, man. Three, three even, okay. I'd love to shoot for four. That might be a little optimistic. Oh, you got it, you got it. Really need to get one of those sandbags to work out. <laughs> but in that inflatable, could you feel the pull? Every, no. Not really, right? 3.5. What was it? 3.5, not 3.8. Oh Ooh, man. Take it to test. <laughs> Tell me, Clark. <laughs> Molly, where are you at? What's the speed? What's the speed? Oh. Almost. 3.8. What do we have? 3.8. Uh -huh. And that's not. So you're over four miles an hour for sure. Woo! You were look, look you look like you're about a ten there. <laughs> that was that was, that was tough getting close to it. <laughs> Two knots is definitely comfortable rowing. Oh yeah. Three is you know that's I think three is kind of what you would normally be doing I guess just like uh, putting in some effort. Yeah. But two is like easy rowing. Two is easy. Which, uh, I guess I'm going that way first, right? Speed record to beat is 3.8. What? Let's see if all that sandbag training pays off. <laughs> It's oh, nice, man. isn't it? Like it's a it's a good feeling. Yeah, it really is. You can kind of change gears with them. Uh -huh. If you want to be in a really low gear with lots of torque, you pull your hands in more. Okay. And then if you want, basically, you know, a higher gear for more speed, then you push them out. Uh huh. Wait, wait, wait! Did you just say four? You, Molly? Are you serious? <laughs> oh come on! This is the downwind leg, attempting to break a speed record of four knots without breaking. My, the oars. <laughs> For the lots. For the lots. For myself. What do we got, Molly? No. No, you just not. No, I mean three. Oh, 3.5. You freak me out. She said 6.5. Are you making stuff up back then? Uh. <laughs> take a take a hard take a take a hard uh, starboard up. <laughs> Watch out for that boat. Four point one. All right, you broke your four. I was I was at a ten there. It was four point one. What? So I think the right. consensus is that this thing was about ten times e easier to row. What was our cruising speed in this? Like three, call it two, two and a half, something like that. And that was easy. That was easy. Yeah. And to, to get to two knots in that was. And like eight out of ten effort. <laughs> yeah, right. Cruising speed is like two to three in this, and smoother. And you get much more glide out of this. Yeah, sure. It carries this momentum. Like you, you do a good strong stroke, and then it just kind of slices through the water away. So yeah. That one you gotta you gotta keep its momentum going. Keep it constantly. going. Yeah. What do we have? Maybe maybe ten knots of breeze. Probably not even. Oh. Eight. So I won't really wonder what the limit in rowing this would be. I mean, I couldn't even imagine rowing into 20 knots of breeze, especially with any chop. <laughs> no. No way. Like, I'd... Yeah, that, that would suck in either one. So in my opinion, like the primary differences between these two dinghies is that this one does kind of a few things kind of, you know, pretty good. You know, it, it motors decently, it rows pretty good, um, and obviously, you know, it can sail too. It's a decent little sailboat. 
but it's it's kind of it's not particularly great any of those things it's kind of a swiss army knife it does a lot of things kind of pretty good your boat does a few things really good you know it's very stable it's very fast how much spear fishing do you guys do when you're over there uh i that's my favorite thing to do like in the islands is spear fishing uh -huh. that was our big thing with like getting this because like especially with our boat we probably should get a much smaller lighter even if we were going to do inflatable a planing inflatable boat we probably should have gotten like a 10 and a half with like a 15 horsepower engine yeah and save some weight, save yeah. some weight. but that's all we do is spear fish and we like all day and we're out there and surfing yeah. like we want to be able to get to the outside reefs and stuff oh, like yeah. that yeah, exactly. so that's yeah. why we splurged on a big mm -hmm. dinghy like everything is such a compromise it's yeah. like you got to pick out the thing the core things that you want to focus on and get a dinghy that meets those needs mostly right but then you know you got to flex on the other stuff right Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like that one. Obviously, I know this thing is not meant to be rowed all the time, but I was just curious, like if you had to row it, how well how well would it row and is it even possible? Um, which it definitely is, like totally, you can row it to get back to where you need to go as long as conditions are relatively calm. Check out Sailboat Stories channel, I'll link to them be below, they got some good stuff on there. S such a cool family to hang out with, we had a lot of fun with them. We're gonna post another video, um, hang out with them again. Check them out, I'll link to them below, and if you guys like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up below. Um, if you didn't like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up below and also make sure to subscribe to this channel so that when we post new videos, you get notified that they're out there and we'll see you again. Later guys.